Hello, oh, John. There's only one man. No, there's only one man guard in the house. What's troubling you? <clears throat> right. Uh, Polly, you know what it's been like since Martha died. God takes the best first. Truth is, my kids have been running bloody rings around me. Running barefoot with the dogs until all hours. Oh, give him ten bob some new shoes. Is that it, John? Tommy, we'd be better to do this without you. Now, what's your point? What the kids need is a mother. So that's why I'm getting married. Does this poor girl know you're going to marry her? Or are you just going to spring it on her all of a sudden? I've already proposed, and she, she said yes. I think there's a shell about to land and go bang. It's, um, it's uh, Lizzie Stock. <laughs> John, Lizzie Stark's a strong woman, and I'm sure she provides a fine service for her customers. I won't hear the word. Understand, do not use that word. What word is that, John? You know what word that is. Everybody bloody knows. Everybody can go to hell. Or that word, or prostitute. How about that one? Right, I want it known. If anyone calls her a whore again, I will push the barrel of my revolver down their throats and blow the word back down into their hearts. Men and their cocks never cease to amaze me. John, Lizzie Stark never did a day's work vertical. She's changed. All right, people change, like, like, like with, with, with religion. Oh, Lizzie Stark's got religion, eh? No, no, she doesn't have religion, but... Well, she loves me. Now, listen, now, Tommy, I won't do it without your blessing. But of all the people in the world, I, I want you to see it as brave. Oh, it's brave, all right. Brave as... Going where no man's gone before. And with Lizzie Stark, John, that is really not what you'll be doing. Listen, Tommy. Welcome her to the family. For someone who's had a hard life. All right, because I need someone. All right, the kids need someone. Tommy, we've been driver. What? What the bloody hell happened here? <sighs> the Lees, all of them, cousins, nephews, even the bastards. They've taken anything they can lay their hands on. Four cash boxes. I love these. Wire cutters? I mean, why would they leave wire cutters? Nobody move. I think our friends are playing the game. What game? Oh, Paul, don't. Touch anything. Erasmus Lee was in France. Shit. And we gave up ground to the Germans. We'd leave yarn booby traps, fill up with wires. And we'd leave wire cutters as part of the joke. Somewhere in here, there's a home grenade. Holy Jesus. Attached to a wire. Don't move any chairs. Or open any doors. Go easy, John boy. Easy. No. Boys, no. It's not in here. If it was in here, it would have blown by now. It was my name on that bullet Erasmus sent. He set up a trap, all right. He set it up just for me. Finn? Finn, stay exactly where you are. <laughs> I'll pretend it was you. Which door did you open to come in, Finn? I didn't. I climbed in. I want you to climb out exactly the same way you climbed in, okay? 
Never pretend to be me.